Hi to all of you. My name is Dominic and I'm working as an innovation manager for Hochbahn. I'm very happy to present you Hochbahn's approach and our e-scooter project in cooperation with Tier Mobility in this Solutions Plus learning program. In the next about 10 minutes, I will focus on the integration of e-scooters into the public transport system. The slides show how we proceed to implement our e-scooter service in two outskirts of Hamburg. In terms of content, I have prepared the following three sections. First, I would like to briefly introduce Hochbahn with just a few facts. Second, I would like to say some words about Hamburg's overall strategy for collaborative mobility. And in the search section, the focus is on our e-scooter project here at Hochbahn. I will show you which goals we have, what steps we are taking and what findings are already available as of today. Let's start by taking a brief look at Hochbahn. Hochbahn is the largest transport company in Hamburg and the second largest one in Germany after Berlin. We operate four metro lines, more than 150 bus lines and seven ferry lines. In 2019, before COVID-19, Hochbahn had over 466 million passengers. At the same time, Hochbahn has more than 6,300 employees. What is the city of Hamburg's overall mobility strategy? And how has Hochbahn positioned itself in this context? These two groundbreaking questions will be answered on the next three slides. Together with all relevant stakeholders, the city of Hamburg has proclaimed the goal of the mobility turnaround in Hamburg. Among other things, the position of Senator for Transport and Mobility Transition was specially installed for this purpose. What is the underlying goal? Private car usage is to be reduced. This is essentially about sharing and using instead of owning. In addition, more and more mobility offers are to be integrated. Ultimately, all of this is to be offered from one single source, Hamburg's mobility as a service app HVV Switch. To illustrate this every mobility offer from one single source approach, I have added another graphic on the right. The aim is to provide customers with a range of mobility options that enable them to move around Hamburg quickly, safely and comfortably. The portfolio includes on the one hand public transport by bus, train and ferry, and on the other hand e-scooter sharing, bike sharing and car sharing. The overall goal of the mobility transition in Hamburg is to increase the model split of public transport up to 30% by 2030. For comparison, in 2017, the figure was 22%. And as you can see, a very ambitious goal for Hamburg and Hochbahn. Now, I would like to come to the approach we have taken together with Tier Mobility to implement the e-scooter service in outskirt areas and integrate them into public transport. The approach of our demo action is providing and integrating e-scooters in outskirt areas as first and last mile solution to expand public transport. Represented by the symbols, you see an often discussed first and last mile use case. The customer rides the e-scooter on his first mile from home to the nearest metro station and ends the e-scooter right there. Then he simply changes to the metro. On the way back, the same. The customer takes a preferably reserved e-scooter at the metro station and rides at the last mile home. Core of our concept are two areas that differ in terms of geography and socio-demography. We operate with about 150 e-scooters in each area. It is necessary that these areas are connected to public transport. Over the project lifetime, we test different incentive schemes for the customers. For example, the customer receives three minutes every time he's parking the e-scooter in the parking zone at the station. If you allow me two more aspects about the project's goals, we want to increase the attractiveness of public transport and establish the e-scooter as feeder to public transport and thereby create an alternative to the private car for the first and last mile. What has happened in our project so far? I will pick out five or six important steps from the last two years. In the second half, of 2020, we launched a call for tenders and ultimately choose TIER Mobility as our cooperation partner. Together with TIER, we then identified potential areas and evaluated them based on criteria. I will briefly show you what these are on the next slide. We then prepared the final locations and parking zones. Already at this stage, we can say that parking zones are one of the decisive factors in linking e-scooters to public transport. The launch of our e-scooter project took place in June 2021 with Hamburg Senator for Transport and Mobility Transition. 
At the beginning of October 2021, shortly before the ITS World Congress in Hamburg took place, the e-scooter's deep integration into the mobility as a service app HBB Switch was completed. And of course, we are collecting data from day one. The next step is to find out more about the customers and their behavior via a customer survey in May 2022. What criteria did we use when selecting the two demo areas for our project? Connection to public transport, for example, the metro and bus system. Availability of complementary mobility services. Population density. Target group. And a criterion that Tia brought into the selection process. App openings that did not result in a ride. These app openings suggest a certain desire that could not be satisfied because a scooter is not available. Let's move away from theory and look on how we connect the e-scooters with our public transport system. I would like to give you impressions from the project's practice. How did we implement our service? On the left, you can see the Langhorn business area. Two of the three stops, here represented by blue dots, have been equipped with parking zones. In the middle of the slide, you can see the technical sketches of these parking zones. And on the right, you can see them in reality two days before the project launch. Here, in this example, we have converted five car parking spots in order to set up the e-scooter parking zones in direct transition to the metro. The same applies to the second area. The special thing in Lokstedt is that we are moving in public space with our parking zones. On the slide before in Langhorn, we simply rent the car parking spots of Hochbahn subsidiary Park and Ride. Here in Lokstedt, we have to involve the authorities. The key is, we had to apply for a right of special use for one year. The two photos on the right show that it is always a combination of a non-parking zone related to a parking zone. This is to prevent the e-scooters from being parked chaotic and uncontrolled at the station's environment. What did we do in terms of communication to promote our project? We have used a range of different measures. Floor markings and posters in the stations, passenger TV in our metros, or short campaigns through our digital channels, for example, Facebook ads and our website. TIER, as our cooperation partner, has also used its digital channels to promote the project and our service. At the beginning of this presentation, I also promised some of our learnings we gained so far. At the end of February 2022, after nine months of operation, we have already recorded more than 85,000 rides. What is remarkable is that the use of e-scooters depends very much on the weather. The worsening weather in Hamburg toward the winter month has caused the user numbers to drop drastically. But all in all, However, the absolute figures exceed the expectations of Hochbahn and Tier. The second graph shows the distribution of trips between the different times of the day. Here, the focus is on journeys during the week, from Monday to Thursday. We exclude the Friday here because we basically want to promote intermodal travel change and not fun trips at the weekend. We see that the trips are concentrated in the morning and afternoon rush hours, whereas we have a much higher demand in the afternoon rush hour. The highest demand is during 4 and 5 p.m. The third major finding from the pilot project is that about one third of the trips are already intermodal, shown here in the graph as first or last mile trips in the two areas Lockstedt and Langhorn. And last but not least, you see a photo from the project's reality out in the business areas on the left. If we achieve this parking situation over a longer period, we will be very happy, of course. However, it is not surprising that the reality is different on other days when the e-scooters are not so well ordered. On the right, you see the tweet of Hamburg Senator for Mobility on the launch of the project. In his tweet, he once again underlines the great importance of e-scooters for the first and last mile. What is left for me to say? Thank you for your attention and enjoy the Solutions Plus learning program. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You find my email address here on the right. Have a nice day.